asks, but Father, what are you saying? That God contaminates himself? He says, I am not saying this. St. Paul said it. He made himself to be sin. He who was not a sinner, who could not sin, made himself to be sin. Look at how God contaminated himself to draw near to us, to have compassion, and to make us understand his tenderness. Again, some of this is correct. God's mercy, him coming close, his compassion, his tenderness, his closeness to us. But the language of contamination is, well, it's what they said in the old days, that it's offensive to pious ears. So what is the proper reading here? What is Paul talking about? Well, I always encourage you to go to Cornelius Alapide. Cornelius Alapide. This is, in my opinion, second to Thomas Aquinas, the best commentator on sacred scripture. If you Google Bible Commentary by Cornelius Alapide, you're going to be taken to my website, taylormarshall.com, because I have put together all the links in Latin and in English for people who want to use Cornelius Alapide's commentary. And the good thing about Cornelius is he just doesn't say, well, here's what I think the Bible means. He says, well, here's what St. Ambrose says about this Bible verse. Here's what St. Augustine says about this Bible verse. Here's what St. Basil the Great said about this Bible verse. Here's what Aquinas said. And so what he's doing is he's always appealing to authority, previous authority, which as Catholics, we must always do. None of these saints, Eastern or Western, according to Cornelius Alapide, say that Christ himself in any way becomes contaminated by sin. There's just no, there's no possibility that contamination could sneak into the humanity of Christ and certainly not in the divinity of Christ. Remember, Christ has two natures, the divine nature, he's consubstantial with the Father, and the human nature, he's consubstantial with the Immaculate Blessed Virgin Mary and through her, the rest of humanity. So contamination can no way go upstream and infect the human nature or the divine nature of Christ. It's just impossible. So using the word contaminate is offensive to pious ears. I would reckon, I'm just a layman. I'm not part of the magisterium. I'm just sitting out here. I got a Bible open looking at 2 Corinthians. I got Cornelius Alapide open. And I got Thomas Aquinas, and I'm looking at these passages and what Francis is quoting, and I'm just saying to myself, as a baptized person, Canon 212, I don't see how what you're saying he contaminates with us fits with what Paul says in 2 Corinthians, with what Isaiah says in chapter 53, and what the church fathers and Aquinas and others say. This is part of the compendium, the anthology of confusing quotes from Francis. I mean, it's hard to believe that he could say so many things that are so confusing in this amount of time. It's, it's, it makes me dizzy because I try to read and watch everything. And I just, I just don't understand how things could be so confusing. Is it because we have social media and we hear so much more? I mean, if you went back in time to Pope St. Gregory the Great in 600, was he walking around saying things that were just totally confusing? And if only there was Twitter, we would have known about it? Or are we in a situation right now? This is my rhetorical question because you already know what I think. And we hear, well, that doesn't sound Catholic. That doesn't sound Catholic. And we're, we're brought into this confusing time or when we listen to the Pope, it doesn't seem to be what previous Popes and Saints and Church Fathers said. 